Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and if you're new, a special welcome to you. Now guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a Google Docs spreadsheet, right? So the first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you're logged in into your Gmail and you want to go to google.com. If you're using Google Chrome, once you open it, you will be at Google, most likely, right? But if not, all you have to do is just simply type in google.com in your browser and you'll be taken to the home page of Google. And if you're logged in, all you have to do is simply click on the Google apps here on the top right hand side, and you want to search for sheets, right? So you want to scroll on here and you want to choose sheets in the list. So if you click on sheets, this will open up the Google spreadsheets, right? Now, if you haven't created anything before, then you won't be able to see anything here, just like myself. But if you are working on something before, you'll find it under the recent spreadsheets. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different options here as well. You can create a blank one from scratch. You can play around with some of the pre-built ones, such as to-dos, annual budget, monthly budget, and so much more, right? So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to, let's say, create a blank one, right? So all you have to do is just simply click on a blank spreadsheet here. And this will take you into the nice spreadsheet where you can fill in everything, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply fill in some information here. So as you can see, I have put in like title and also the number one here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fill it in a few more of these cells, right? Let's pretend that this is my spreadsheet that I need to fill, right? You get the idea. Whatever you need to do, you will fill it in. Now, once you go ahead and fill it, guys, if you look right here, you see that it's currently saving. And what this is done, it is saving to your Google Drive, right? And this is saved automatically to your Google Drive. Here, as you can see, the Google Drive icon here and if i put anything more here guys you realize that it is saving automatically so you don't have to worry about saving it by yourself as well you can go ahead and you can change the title here so i can write my first sheet and you can just go ahead and change the title you can always come back and you can change it to whatever you want right so let's say you're finished with the google sheet you can do a bunch of things to it you can share it and you can also save it wherever you want and you can also access it for quick access. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a separate tab and I'm going to access the Google Sheet again. Let me go back to Sheets and you will see that I have the sheet under Recent here. And here you can see that this is the sheet that I recently created and you'll be able to find your sheets here under Recent, right? Another thing that you can do is save it elsewhere. So you can go to Files, right? And you can basically go ahead and you can share it with someone if you so desire. As you can see here so if you want to share it with someone you can simply click share with others and you'll be able to fill in your email address and you can basically share whatever you want so let's say i want to share it with myself so let's say that's my email address and i can choose whichever access level i want to give to that person so i can either choose as an editor or i can choose as a viewer or i can choose as a commenter right you get the idea pretty clear the viewer only can view it. the commenter can comment and the editor will be able to work with the sheet as well right so that's pretty straightforward now once you do that all you have to do is just hit the send button and this will send an email to them or you can just simply click on the copy link here as you can see this will give you the link and you just have to cancel and you will have the link so once you click on the copy the link you'll have the link that you can easily share with the person. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply open up another tab and show you what the link like. So I'm going to just paste here, and this is basically the link to the file. So if I hit enter, this will go directly to the sheet, as you can see. So pretty straightforward. So once you share the link, the person will be able to see the file, and they will be able to manipulate with it based on the access that you give to them, right? So let me go ahead and click done right here. Now, as I said, you can save this elsewhere if you so desire. So let's say you want to save it to your drive, for further use you can simply go ahead and click on file right and then you can simply click on move and this will give you the access to your google drive so now as you can see here you have a few options you have the suggested you have the start which are your favorite if you have folders created and so much more and you can also click on the all locations to see all the possible locations so so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just say i'm gonna save it to my drive so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just simply double click on this and because I have no folder, SHO, I can simply go ahead and click this option here to create a new folder. Let's say I call this first sheet, Let, something like that. I'll create the folder there, right? So what I simply do is just simply create a folder and I will move it there. So once I do that, I'm going to simply click on move. And as you can see there, it is moved to the folder. Now, if you have existing folders before, you wouldn't have to create anything, right? So all you have to do is just simply click on file, then go to move. 
and if you click on all locations you will be able to see all those folders that you have created and if you click on all locations or the suggested you will simply click on the drive and you will see all the folders that you have that you can select it and then simply move to it however in my case i had no folders so i had to create one so that i can move it to right pretty clear so what i'm going to do right now guys i'm going to simply go to my drive real quick by simple go ahead and click on drive and here you can see the file that i've had it there but if i also click on folders you will see the folder that i create and if i open that folder you see the file that i've created and that's how easy it is guys that you can create google sheets right and you can share them with someone and also you can save them to your google drive very easily if you so desire for future use and one more point to note that you can access this directly from within your google drive so as you can see i'm in google drive right now and all i have to do is just simply open up this file and this will launch the file directly from within the google drive directly to google sheet so i can easily change it and if from there if you want to make any additional changes all i have to do is just simply make those changes and it will save automatically the sheet and it will save automatically and i don't have to do anything else or update anything else because this is updated within the google drive now guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you see the channel for the first time well, welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time